So I wanna make a wooden face plate, sacrificial face plate for my lathe so I can turn, I, I got it in my head that I wanna do a box. So I have these two boards here and these come from Javi. So I wanna turn a box out of that, a lidded box. But the only way to do that as far as I know is using a face plate so you can get inside the inside of the box. So this is what I want to do. This is my mock-up lathe here and so this would be the face plate, metal face plate. And then attached to it will have the wooden face plate and it goes attached with screws. And then we could take the piece of the blank piece of wood and um, glue it and that'll work. I think So with that done, I'm not sure if I can hog out the in with the tools that I have. I'm not sure that I, I can use those tools. I think I'm going to reach out to Jamie Page and see what he says. Hey, JP. I just wanted to uh, – thanks for taking the, the time real quick here. I just wanted to ask you a couple of, of questions. Yeah, what's up, Mike? So look, um, today I, I worked on um, doing a faceplate. I just took some wood and rounded it and attached it with screws and stuff. You know, I kind of want to do, uh, yeah, yeah, like a, like a, I want to do a box, a lidded, lidded box. But mm. so what, what do you think? Well, just using the faceplate, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, basically, what you could do is just take a chunk of wood and basically just glue that uh, to a like a sacrificial um, piece of wood onto the uh, what's it called faceplate. And can, can I use hot glue? I wouldn't recommend it, to be okay. honest. Um, I'd probably uh, just use normal wood glue or even um, two-part epoxy, like five-minute epoxy. Um, that I'd probably just go with them, uh, to be honest. Wood glue will be uh, the, the best bet, uh, to, uh, to be honest. Basically, what you do is... Uh, Turn it down. So you 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 got your piece of wood. Going. So you make you want to have a lidded box, yeah? Yeah, I want a lid. I want a um, lidded box. Let's use this spare mancrafted mug. So you got your lid. You got your piece of wood on the on the lathe there. Yeah. So what you do is is you you take the lid off. You spin it on the lathe. You you take out the inside. Yeah, and then you cut your profile of the the. The, the top of the lid, if you like, like the the locking mechanism, if you like, yeah, where it's going to sit, and then you you'd cut off the the height of the lid, right? So you you'd kind of put it so it's like a dome, a top of a dome, if you like, on the inside of the lid, and then cut it off where you want at okay. the top, yeah. So say about I don't know maybe an inch to two inches or so. So, so someone something like that. Oh well now you're just <laughs> now you're just teasing Carl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah so I've got... just just make sure you yeah you know, I mean this is a this is a piece of what I've done today. So that's nice. Um, what's that? Blue, is that 
bluish green color. What is that? Is that acrylic? No, no, no. That's actually uh, you'll be you'll be surprised. It's actually food coloring. Let me see again. So that that's that's uh, Elman food coloring. And what was the finish? Uh, it's actually the finish is uh, it's got on it Yorkshire grit uh, and Danish oil. Nice. Um, um, and I also did this one. Uh, this one, I actually got a massive catch, and uh, it ended up going off centre. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it kind of actually looks like a. Someone actually wrote in the, the comments video, the comment section of my video, saying it looks like a baseball cap. <laughs> uh, I kind of guess they're right. Well, you had to hold. I saw that video. You had to put your hand on the headstock to keep it steady. Yeah, I was turning one-handed a lot of time with that video. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So this is what I have to work with, these tools. Can I use any of these to hog out the inside? Because I don't know. What do you think? Uh, you can't. Um, when it comes, I mean, I don't uh, really use traditional tools. Um, the only one that I believe you can use for the inside of bowls and um what do you call it anything with a, a cup on it if you like maybe a, a bowl or a lidded pot it's something or a bowl gouge um because anything with like a, a big wing on it for example like a roughing gouge will just give guess, you a big I guess yeah, like, so, yeah exactly something like that so because obviously the, the big wings coming up the side if that catches on the side that's going to rip your work out and just destroy everything i don't want not, not, not only that but it could end up causing you harm as well and obviously no one wants to see that either so um well bob lee yeah. bob lee bob lee is gonna send me uh he actually he, sh he shipped them out some carbide tools i just have to assemble them and, and all that um yeah he said that it'll it'll get here around wednesday and stuff so maybe i should wait to, to do the box yeah, I mean, carbide tools is what I've used. Uh, what I use is what I it's what I've used since the start, and um, I'm, I'm I'm not going to mock traditional tools. Everyone, everyone has uh, everyone has a right to use whatever they want. Uh, I will try traditional tools at one point, but for me, I mean, I I just love carbide tools. Okay. So, but All right. well, again, again, I'd like to try a traditional one at some point. All right. Well, so look, I, I appreciate it. Um, so I guess we'll I'll see you tomorrow on the uh, Mad Maker show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess you will. We've got uh, we've got Michael Zerker in the house, yeah, and no floating head today either. It's surprising. Well, well, no, because this is actually a non uh Mad Maker episode. Yeah, non Mad Maker show. Yeah, but surprise or not surprise, I'm still sitting here with my man crafting mug. <laughs> all right dude thanks no worries mate well i hope you enjoyed this episode building that sacrificial face plate i am going to wait for bob lee's tools which are coming in the mail i just talked to him earlier um and those should be coming around wednesday possibly so i'm going to wait till i have those and set that up to actually make a box so if you enjoyed what you saw subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next episode